I'm Evan Weaver, founder and CEO of Fauna, a global distributed database. <clears throat> so I got my start in distributed systems at Twitter. I joined Twitter in 2008. I was employee number 15. And I created the fail whale page, but I did not create the problems behind the whale. <laughs> I spent the rest, the rest of my time there. I was there for four years, growing my team, building distributed systems that would solve these fundamental scalability issues that were leading to so many problems in Twitter's early days. <clears throat> we built the systems that powered the timeline, the social graph, user storage, scaled the site up to many hundreds of millions of users, got rid of the whale once and for all, finally. And then we were thinking, you know, what else, what else should we do with our lives? We solved, you know, um, <clears throat> one of the greatest distributed systems problems for Twitter, but we had not solved it for everyone else. So what we wanted to do was take the experience there and the team I had built there and translate that into a product that everyone else could use. And our experience at Twitter is illustrative of your experience trying to move your organizations to the cloud. Because from my perspective, you know, hardware initially was the source of all your high availability and all your scalability. You had systems like System Z, which scaled up. Then the next revolution in database and data technology was client server. And there, there's an increasing pattern of moving from physical hardware, which is, lives in only one place, to virtualized hardware that is distributed everywhere. And Twitter was the, one of the last great consumer internet companies. We had to build everything ourselves in-house and run it in co-located data centers. But now we're in the cloud era. And what do you do? to get these kind of mainframe level reliability principles in the cloud. Arguably, Twitter never got, not got to that point. For Twitter, it was OK. But for you all, it might not be OK. The things you have to worry about as you transition your legacy mainframes app applications to the cloud are, are relatively overwhelming, especially if you're trying to cobble together systems that were built for previous eras of distributed, you know, distributed applications or undistributed business analytics systems. You can't just lift and shift these kind of systems directly into the cloud and expect them to work, regardless of what AWS or Oracle might like to tell you. So when we started Fauna, we wanted to take a fresh look at everything that was required to deliver mainframe reliability in the cloud. And we took the best of what's offered from relational databases, from NoSQL databases, and from the academic literature to build a product that combined all those illities from the previous slide into something that could scale, be reliable, be reliable, be offered as a hybrid cloud service, be offered on premise, be offered as an internal service or through the serverless cloud, and really restore that flexibility that was being lost as people were trying to move these relational and legacy mainframe workloads for mission critical data into new cloud environments, especially multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. And that includes you know, <clears throat> critical things that were lost in the internet era with NoSQL, like transactions, for example. And there's a number of vendors in our space, Google Spanner probably being the best known. <clears throat> but our, our architecture is by far the best, and the only purely software-defined architecture that really delivers this level of reliability without any hardware dependencies. Because that's what we're all trying to get away from, dependencies on physical hardware like the mainframe era required. And if you're looking for a system which can deliver you know, the experience you get from System Z, even from Mumps, if we go back even farther where you have a big, beefy piece of hardware that never goes down, is always you know, on a specialized network and always super reliable, you really don't have any other options besides systems which are similar to Fauna or Spanner's architecture. If you want it to be software defined and available multi-cloud, not lock you into a specific infrastructure provider, we like to believe that you don't have any other options other than Fauna. We're happy to tell you more at the booth outside. The company was founded in 2012. We did some consulting for a little while after Twitter, and then we raised our, our series, series seed and Series A funding in 2016 and 2017. We're currently working with a lot of you know, consumer internet, financial services, e-commerce companies. NVIDIA, Capital One, and Nextdoor.com are some of our biggest customers. And we would love to talk to you more. The team is here outside, and I'll be around for the rest of the day. <coughs> Thank you.